Hello my friends and welcome to the Iron Will channel. I have an episode of Fat Logic for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, you know what to do. Subscribe, like the video, drop me a comment and share the video. Enough said, let's move on with the video. Fat shaming is being publicly ridiculed by strangers. Yes, but it's also being charged more for clothing, travel accommodations and basic necessities. It's being denied jobs and having your life placed at risk because healthcare professionals see you as less than human. It's not fat shaming for you using more resources. More resources cost money, I'm sorry to say that. And healthcare professionals do not see you less than human. It's just that you guys don't like it when they say you have to lose weight and that when you say you've got a pain somewhere and they say it's due to your weight you just cannot accept that so let's be absolutely frank and honest you're lying to yourselves and then saying that the whole world is fat shaming so maybe you should evaluate yourself and think is that statement true whispers your preference of thinness is based in racist Eurocentric ideas of beauty and fat phobia has roots and it's grown from racist ideologies that dehumanize black and brown bodies. I love how they have to associate their cause with black slavery, which if I was a black person I would be so offended by this because let's face it, black people were oppressed for hundreds of years for no good reason I might add and they have to fight for their freedom and they deserve every bit of freedom they got and you guys saying that fat phobia is being treated like racism is absolutely insulting are you guys made to sit inside the back of a bus? are you guys sold? no you guys get told you have to pay slightly more for an airplane ticket you guys get upset when your favourite superhero isn't £600 so, I think you guys are rather pathetic. What do you guys think about that one? Do you think they're being a bit pathetic? Having to use the race card to give their argument some sort of validation? Someone's weight is a matter of complex social, cultural, physiological and biological factors that we can't always control. Alright, with this one, there is two I disagree with, one I do agree with. Social, cultural, a lot of nonsense. Social status has nothing to do with this kind of crap. Biological factors also have a very, very small margin in it. But psychological, all of it being in your head, big part of it. And that's the reason why people like you keep writing this kind of crap to justify your bad decisions. Parents who try to influence the size of their kids' bodies do zero good and tremendous harm. You know what, Timmy? Eat all the biscuits. Eat all the sweets. You don't want vegetables for dinner? No problem. Bring on the french fries. I'm sure you won't regret it and hate me for it later. Does that sound about right, people? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Went to see the movie Annabelle Comes Home at the cinema. I'm not a slim build, I have trouble with the size of the seat for width and for my legs. I asked if the cinema with Annabelle playing had seats where you can lift up the arms for extra room and they said no, only cinema 1 and 2 do, that's horrible. I was so uncomfortable and in tears, I put in a comment on their review section on Facebook. I have never been to a cinema where you can lift up the arms because normally the arms have like a cup holder. And you don't want someone lifting up your arm for your seat when it has a drink in it. And why would you have the right to impede into someone else's seat as well? Because naturally, you're going to be lifting up the one on the other side, or both sides maybe, and just spreading out. That's absolutely horrible. And I think you're quite a nasty person for wanting to do that. And also, you're being unrealistic in complaining about something which, let's face it, has always been in cinemas. It's like me complaining that that they didn't sell particularly a drink which they only sold inside a remote place of the country. That's just so stupid. And I hope you realise how dumb that is. And I hope that they didn't take any notice of your review. Brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, please 
hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And guys, please share this video everywhere you can. Facebook, Twitter, anywhere, because I'm a small YouTuber and I'm trying to grow. And you will have my thanks forever. That is it. I'll see you guys next time.